of Oklahoma was crowned Miss USA on Sunday, beating 50 other contestants and overcoming weeks of controversy generated by pageant co-owner Donald Trump to win the 64th annual pageant. The 26-year-old winner was followed by first runner-up Eliana Cuera, 22, of Texas, and second runner-up Ania Garcia, 20, of Rhode Island. They were followed by 25-year-old Miss Nevada Brittany McGowan, 25, third runner-up and then Miss Marilyn Mame Ajay, 23, to round out the top five. Trump, the pageant co-owner and real estate mogul, slammed Mexican immigrants in comments during his announcement that he was running for president. That led to widespread fallout against his business dealings, including the pageant. He wasn't present at Sunday's pageant in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Guerra, who earned the first runner-up title, was one of three contestants with Hispanic heritage. Singers Travis Garland and former American Idol finalist Stefano Longone kicked off the show with three songs born on the bayou. She's a Bad Mama Jamma and American Woman as the contestants strutted onto the stage and introduced themselves and their states. The pageant featured an evening wearing swimsuit competition as well as a personality interview. The preliminary contest was held earlier this week and then the number of women remaining was progressively narrowed during the course of Sunday evening's telecast. The final five women hailed from Oklahoma, Texas, Rhode Island, Maryland, and Nevada Jordan, of Tulsa, Oklahoma is a group fitness instructor and personal trainer. She attended Boston University, where she earned a B.S. in health science and ran a self-defense workshop in her sorority, Alpha Phi. She has appeared in several national and international commercials and feature films, most recently, Hot Tub Time Machine 2, and has walked in fashion weeks in New York and Miami. She was recognized as an outstanding advocate by Children of the Night, a group dedicated to getting American children out of prostitution and was the 25th. Olivia Jordan of Oklahoma was crowned Miss USA on Sunday, wearing a hot pink strapless dress as she deftly fielded the interview portion of the competition, be saying the country needed to improve race relations to beat out 50 other contestants. After weeks of controversy generated by pageant co-owner Donald Trump's critical comments about Mexican immigrants, the pageant passed with no mention of the real estate mogul who was not in attendance. Instead, the focus was on women like Jordan and others who'd worked hard to get to the stage. Jordan who takes over from 2014 winner Nia Sanchez of Nevada, was a standout during the interview segment. When each contestant was asked two questions and given 30 seconds to answer each. When asked what the next big issue is that the U.S. needs to tackle, she said it was race relations. For more news, subscribe.